So hey guys, it's Dr. Matt. Uh, I've wanted to do this video for a while, about two years. So this is about how to burnish translucent Arkansas stones. This is a stone I just got from Dan's Whetstone. Um, and I got it just for the purpose of the video. So uh, before we burnish it and before we get into that, uh, I'm going to lap it. And so we have to get it flat before we can do that. So if you've seen the, if you've seen my Charnley Forest video, it's gonna be the same thing. I'm doing it on the plate of glass. And we're gonna do it with sick powder. And I'll put the link for the powder on, on down below. But uh, we're starting with 220. Oh, you know what I didn't do, what I wanna do here. Real quick, I wanna try and just soften up the corners of the stone. They come with this micro lap. It has a, it does have a small, ch not lap, but chamfered. But it's still just a little bit, I just wanna soften it a little bit more. And then I'll, and that's a 400 diamond plate. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's perfect right there. Okay, so let's get started on this. So this is just a flat plate of glass I had gotten. It would help if I marked it first with the pencil. That's how we're gonna know it's flat. All right. See a little bit down here and here. Yeah, this is um, really a flat stone. I've heard that Dan. I've heard that Dan's really flattens their stones. I've, I've I've purchased some from another place and they weren't as flat. So this should be pretty quick. All those marks are gone. Let's do it one more time. Yeah, that's, that's totally done. Yeah, this thing came about 98% totally flat. So that's awesome. So what I wanna do here is I'm just gonna kinda, that part where I, I'm gonna angle it. Perfect. 
Yeah, perfect. Okay, so now I will rinse this off, this plate off. And then we're gonna go to a 400. So it's pretty much lap flat at this point. I'm gonna go 400 and then an 800. And we'll be done. All right, 400. All I'm doing here is just smoothing out the 220. And sometimes you'll see the, the powder here change colors as it removes some of the material from the stone. But this is really nice here. And I'm trying to apply pressure to, you know, both ends and in the center all the way through. And by the way, this is a, a 10 inch stone. It's two inches by 10 inches. Okay, this is going to be the final level of sick. This is 800. Some people would go to 600, but this is fine. I should probably do the 600 in between, but I'm not. <laughs> At this point, I'm trying to figure out which side is which, but I can tell that the, the it feels smoother, plus the I rounded these edges a little bit more. Okay, so this is the 800. Oh boy, that's nice. Ooh, sticks. Yeah, that's pretty pretty smooth when it pretty much will float and rotate like that. Alright, so now this has been totally lapped up to an 800, up to an 800 grit. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go in the other room. You can bring it up. 
we're going to go in the other room and uh, we're going to uh, burnish it. So uh, it'll be it'll, it'll be fun to see how that's done and what the the, the end end result will be. We going? All right, good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to burnish the stone. Well, what does that mean? Well, burnishing is just basically we're polishing the stone. We're not actually going to be removing uh, uh, material. Well, I guess maybe just a little bit, but what we're really doing is polishing it. And the reason that we want to polish it is so it gives a really super fine edge. I mean, this is a translucent art. Uh, I said I got it from Dan's. Uh, Dan's has different grades of them. And let me say right off, I know very little about Arkansas stones. The only thing I know are about these these translucent arcs because those are the only ones that I've used. I don't know anything about the other ones. So what I'm sharing with you today is just what I know from the stones that I've done. Uh, for people that know a lot of them, a lot about these stones, they're probably gonna tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about. But I do know what works for me and I do know what works on edges as far as razors go. Uh, Dan's has different grades of the, the these Arkansas stones, or at least these, I think the dark ones, I was trying to look through his website. He has the hard ones he calls fine, he has true hard. He has a translucent, which I have another translucent here. Where is my other translucent? This is one I got from someone else. Um, this is just a translucent stone. You can see the the difference in the 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 shine, the polish. This one's been burnished. This one, not yet. But um, now, what Dan's has is what the, in what this is is their what they call their black Arkansas stone, um, and this is what they call ultra fine. So I figured I, I don't know if it's any finer than the other one, but we're gonna give it a we're gonna give it a go. All right, so what we're doing and the way that we're going to burnish this is this with this wood file. This is a two inch file. I got this at Home Depot. That's it. And what I'm going to do and the way that we do it is we just spray it down and I'm going to take this with the bevel side down and all I'm gonna do is just back and forth on this thing and I don't just have the bevel on there. I actually have it kind of even lifted up from that. I kind of visualize myself trying to scrape like something off of the stone, like a like a piece of like a piece of bubble gum stuck on the sidewalk. You know, like if you're trying to scrape it off. That's kind of what I'm doing when I do this. Now, as far as how long I do it for, uh, I do it for five minutes. So I'm going to put my timer here. And I'm just going to go at this thing for five minutes. I do lean on it. I put some pretty good pressure on it. Uh, I, I try and what I'm going to do is, you know, take it a little bit easier at first. And then by the time I'm done, I want to really be leaning on it. I mean, this this is actually a real bitch to do. I, I really work up a sweat. And since this is a 10-inch stone, what I'm going to do is in two halves. So I'm going to do five minutes on this half, and then I'm going to flip around, do five minutes on the other half. So keep the water nearby you want to keep this thing nice and wet because you want to always be rinsing off any of the metal from the from the um, from the chisel and also if there's any little particles of, of the stone that are coming off so uh, we're ready to go uh, I found that if you take it easy at first You know what, I'm gonna take and put it straight on that cloth. I think that works better. There we go. Yeah. I'm gonna pull it down so I can get some. There we are. I guess my stopwatch isn't going here. I mean, it went off, but it'll sound. Mm. You have to take it all the way to the edge, but you got to be kind of careful on the edge. You don't want to chip the edge. But. Thank you. 
Okay, so you can see, can you see the reflection on the, the half I did and then the half I didn't do? You can see it's right around in there. And if you look right here, it's not, I probably need to touch that up a little bit, but I don't know if I will. I, I mean, it's not like I'm gonna hit the razor on that part. And, I, and the reason I may not is just because I'm paranoid about chipping it. But you can see, see how that, that's beautiful there. Maybe a little bit in the center, we'll clean that up. Um, but what we'll do now is we're just going to do it again on the other side. So let me set my timer. There it is.
All right. Whew. All right, we're done. So that was 10 minutes. Uh, that, I don't know if you can tell, I'm kind of sweating from that. It's, it takes some work. So, um, yeah, so let's take a look and see how it's, how it did. Woo! Look at that. Wow. Maybe there's a little bit in that corner there. Can you see the reflection in, in the lens there? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah, this, yeah, maybe a little bit on the edge. I may touch that up, but yeah, no, this is beautiful. Here, here's my, my other stone. You can see there, they're both just beautiful. Um, all right, so, so that's done. That's how we burnish a stone, or bur burnish the translucent arcs anyway. So uh, this is gonna be the first part of the video. Uh, the next part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sharpen uh, one of my razors and then I'll do a shave with it. Uh, I'll show you how I use the, the Arkansas. I'll uh, uh, put an edge on there and, and, and how I use it and talk about some of the things of how, I would, how you use the translucent, maybe some of the ways that you don't use it. Also, you're gonna to wanna to stick around because there will be some giveaways in the next video. And also, since this will now be my go-to trans, this one that I've used for the past two years, it's for sale. So if anyone's interested in, the, in, that, in that other trans arc, I'm just gonna sell it what I bought it for, uh, just email me, drmatt1911 at gmail.com. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. Hope you watch the next part. We'll see you soon.